there is a massive amount to cover here. I'm going to jump right into this. Arthur Hayes on Twitter says, my TradFi birdies, his friends, are telling me somebody big got smoked and is dumping all crypto. No idea if this is true. I won't name names, but let the, I'm letting the fam know. If you're hearing the same, let me know pretty much what happened here. So one of these giant traditional finance guys got a little greedy and went over leverage and he got liquidated. That's what I posted at Sir Crypto Tips if you want to follow me. I'm very outspoken on Twitter because I think there needs to be some guidance in this space and there's not a lot of that going on. Moving on, we have Ben Rickard. Now he is very much a, he's the guy in the big short, right? He's, he was played by, uh, what's his name, Heidi? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, okay, so he says, uh, crisis mode, the Japanese market is collapsing 6% uh, Japanese bonds, futures, circuit breakers are being triggered. Circuit breakers are for stock markets because uh, traditional finance people can't handle a lot of volatility. So they have uh, these circuit breakers that stop the volatility from actually happening. And also Robinhood turned off their 24 hour trading option as well. Their own little version of plunge protection. Look that up. Okay, so he also says US futures are down heavily in pre-market crypto and gold are all under pressure. WW3 three starting. So moving on, we have, this was a little while ago during that 60 minute smackdown, there was $366 million liquidated from the crypto market over the past during that time that we flew down like five, four or $5,000. That was beautiful, guys. That was amazing. Okay, this, mean, this means that open interest leverage players are getting smashed. And actually, there was more after this happened, there was more leverage players getting smacked. So altogether, it's about a billion dollars of liquidations that happen. And if I can find it here, sorry, I'm gonna have to fast forward this because this is incredible. Okay, so there were, this is, in, this is nuts. Bitcoin open interest is down $6 billion, guys. That is beautiful. So the lower the, the amount of leverage in Bitcoin in the entire system, the more healthy we can rise up. And I, I know I keep saying that over and over again, but it's true. I sound like a broken record and I'm gonna cover that some more as well. There's, like I said, there's so much to cover here. So, okay, now Warren Buffett, let's go to, onto him right now. He just sold, $75.5 billion worth of stock. Okay, and so now his cash reserves, check this chart out, his cash reserves are at $277 billion. He is flush with cash right now. People think, oh, he's gonna buy Bitcoin with it. I don't think so. I mean, we all heard, we all know what his buddy said. What, what did he say? It's rat poison. That's what uh, Charlie Munger, his best friend who recently passed away said about Bitcoin. Rat poison. I, I kind of like rat poison, I guess. That's pretty sweet. Cool, man. All right, moving on. We have the Japanese stock market suffering the worst losses since 1987. So people are freaked out. They're like, oh my gosh, global recession, blah, blah, blah. And if you want to understand where my stance is on the glo on a global recession, go back to yesterday's video. I cover that very well and very straightforward. Moving on, we have Donald Trump saying the stock market is crashing. I told you so, Kalam K Kamala doesn't have a clue. Biden is sound asleep, all caused by inept US leadership. Um, yeah, really interesting considering that he didn't bring up uh, March 2020 when we saw Bitcoin collapse to $3,500. But what happened right after that? What happened? We had a V-shaped recovery and we went to $69,000 from $3,500. I simply don't care about this, this, uh, this move in the market right now. And I'm gonna explain to you more of why I don't care. Okay, also Japan accounts for approximately 10% of the global crypto cryptocurrency trading volume. Uh, and so they're probably going to dump some coin, which means that leveraged longs are going to get decimated even further. This is what you saw, saw happen. You saw massive amounts of liquidations. And Okay, so check this chart out. So this is open interest. Um, 
So open interest has dropped significantly, like massive amounts of, like I said, six billion dollars of open interest wiped out, which is beautiful, guys. This is what I keep saying. If you're part of our learningcrypto.com member, you will know that I keep bringing up open interest and the lower open interest is, the more we can rise in a healthy manner. If there's a lot of leverage and a bunch of gamblers just speculating on the price, hoping the price is gonna go up and getting liquidated on every little move down or whatever, it's gonna be very hard for us to get out of this range that we are in. But this did clear out a lot of people. It's making a lot of people miserable. And there's that old saying in, in, uh, in trading, you buy when there's blood in the streets. And we definitely bought, I bought, today around like $52,000. Um, I would consider buying even lower. If we can get like significantly lower than that, that would be amazing. Um, it doesn't mess with the bull market. And you know what's more unfortunate for these leveraged players is that they are losing their position violently at the worst time, guys, because I'm gonna cover why I think that's the worst time to get liquidated, okay? Look at this chart. This is the chart of 2016 and 2018, okay? There was the first drop, 38%, the second drop. This is during a bull market, by, by the way. We haven't even dropped 30, what, 33%, okay? <laughs> first one, 38%, negative 38%, the second one, negative 33%, the third one, which is kind of where we are right now. Uh, minus 38, the next one, minus 36%, the next one, and minus 29%, the last one. That's during a bull market, guys, and we went parabolic at that time. So finally, we got a, a crash that is kind of normal for this space. I was kind of wondering, like, am I going crazy here? Like, is, is, is crypto going soft right now? Well, we just saw it. It's not. It's back in full force, and I'm very bullish right now. And, and this should show you that instead of getting super emotional about your your trading position or whatever chill out a little bit like if you want to if you need guidance follow my channel like we like when i saw four days ago uh, when when everybody was calling a bottom around 60 something thousand dollars i'm like no 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 no, guys i think we're gonna nuke down below sixty thousand dollars and boy did we nuke and it saved our our subscribers a lot of money, um, especially you know because they're not piling in at those prices. So yes, I think that we are going to bottom very soon, and I think we're also going to see one hundred thousand dollars before a lot of people think that we're going to see a hundred thousand dollars. I think it's going to come quicker than most people think, even though this may look like just completely not complete nightmare, or whatever. I'm very calm right now. Heidi is very calm, and I hope you guys are calm as well after this. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.